Today on Minor Studio is an acoustic guitar DI the solution to my terrible sounding acoustic guitar? Hey everybody, welcome to Minor Studio. My name is Nathan and with me as always is a tech director, Ronald. And today I'm going to talk a little about bad acoustic guitar sound and the Zoom AC2 acoustic pedal. So I'm going to test this thing out for us. What it is basically is a acoustic modeling pedal or DI box or something in between those two. You plug your acoustic into it and it attempts to make your acoustic sound more natural. So if you plug your acoustic guitar straight into your sound system uh, without any microphones or anything, it can often lose a lot of natural sound to it and this especially if you have a cheaper acoustic guitar with not great pickups inside of it um, it can start to sound really bad and unnatural so a pedal like the AC2 here uh, attempts to add some resonance and acoustic sound back into that before it gets uh, to the speakers and to the unwitting congregation's ears and the biggest issue for those of us in small churches is probably that we already don't have great sound systems and do not have professional trained sound people. We have volunteers, many of which have never touched a soundboard in their life before they came to church and we asked them to. So not only can our acoustics already tend to sound unnatural when plugged straight into a system, but then we do not have a system built to handle natural sounding acoustic guitars and poor sound volunteers who have no idea what we're talking about when we ask them to make our acoustics sound better. So, can a pedal like the AC2 help us out with that in small churches where we don't have a lot of other options? Well, let's find out. Let's test it out. Let's take a look at the inputs and outputs first. Uh, here on this side, we have the outputs. You have a stereo, and then you can just use one for mono. And over on this side, we have the input for the guitar. And below that, we have USB power. And on the back here, get that out of the way, we have a balanced out, a pre and post for the balanced out, a ground lift, uh, your 9 volt DC in, and then the power switch. Now let's test out the sound and features of this pedal. So let's start our test by just bypassing the zoom altogether so we can hear the raw unprocessed sound of the guitar before we run it through the pedal. Now let's see what the guitar sounds like going through the Acoustic Creator pedal. Alright, so up top here we have Source Guitar where you enter what kind of guitar you're playing with and then it tries to cater the sound to that guitar. Here's Dreadnought. Next we'll try Parlor. How about 12 strings? strange like resonator. Alright, let's get a single cut away. My guitar is a single cut away, so it tends to sound better on the guitar you have. So we have a reverb, we have a volume, which changes the input and output. Next we have an equalizer. It's a three band equalizer, bass, middle, and treble. Then uh, over on this side, we have pickup. This changes what kind of pickup it is trying to emulate, like piezo, magnetic, or off if you don't want to emulate one. Uh, under that, we have the boost. 
Um, this just gives you a boost if you press the uh, boost pedal there, just like this. Finally, we have the tuner, which also mutes your guitar while you're tuning. And I found the tuner to be uh, fairly accurate as well. So you can see it mutes the guitar when you tune. So let's take a look at the, the reverb first. So we'll try it all the way down to start. Now let's put it up about midway. Now let's crank it all the way. That's obviously a bit much. I think midway is a good point. All right, so let's, uh, next we have volume. I'm not gonna really adjust that much because, well, we've got it kind of where we need it for this demo, but you can see it just changes the volume. It's about, it's about where we had it, I think. Yep, that sounds good. All right, so next we have the equalizer, just a three band equalizer, bass, middle, and treble. straightforward around this is about where I usually have it. I turn the bass and trebles up just a bit in the mid down that's where I like it All right, so next we have this pickup, which is basically catering to which pickup you have. Uh, you can see here, it, the sound changes a bit when you change it, but not a whole lot. We'll leave it at magnetic, because that's what I have. Then we have the boost, finally. boost knob determines how high your boost is and then once you press it it goes up in volume like this for finger picking and solos and things like that so I'm gonna set this about where I usually have it and you can hear um, what I think is a pretty decent sound out of it it off one more time. I think good bad medium leave leave it in the comments below what you think of the zoom creator ac2 pedal so what's the verdict well that's kind of up to you you can tell me how you think it sounded um obviously going straight into a system isn't going to sound the same as when it comes out of the speakers at your church but it gives you an idea of how it changes the sound 
in my opinion, yes, it can help. But only in certain situations. If you have a good sound system and a sound person who has a decent idea of what they're doing, then you don't need that. In fact, it might be detrimental to use it because it's going to add a little mm, synthesized, unnatural sound to your guitar, possibly. So good sound system, decently trained volunteer, no. You do not need that pedal. However, if you have a not so good sound system and a volunteer who doesn't really know what they're doing, then I think it can actually help quite a bit. Uh, and one of the churches I lead at, uh, the sound system was, it's more of a museum piece than an actual working sound system. It was installed, I would guess, in the late 70s, and not a single component has been changed or probably even cleaned. Um, I'm pretty sure all of the speakers are slightly blown. I don't know if the amps are really working at full capacity. Uh, the board is, is a beautiful, beautiful historical piece. <laughs> um, but no, not a great sound system. And it's small church, so it's just a volunteer doing it, doing the sound. So it does not sound good at all. The acoustic sounds are not good going through this system. And while, while this pedal doesn't miraculously make it sound like Carnegie Hall, I don't know if Carnegie Hall sounds good with acoustic guitars, actually. It probably does, because it's Carnegie Hall. It's not going to make it sound amazing, but in my opinion, it does It does improve the sound quite a bit. And the guitar sounds a little less like a, a duck with strep throat. Now, do people in the congregation actually notice that aren't acoustic guitar players? Probably not. But... I definitely notice. I can tell there's a difference. And even if they don't consciously notice, if the sound is not hurting your ears anymore, it's going to help. It's going to create less distracting worship and let you be a bit more in the moment, you know, when you're not bleeding out of your ears. So there you go. Zoom AC2 pedal. Could be helpful for you. Could be. Thank you so much for watching. And if you liked this video and found it helpful, please subscribe. I will see you back here next week.